Hi, I'm Marin. Welcome back to my channel, Marin Makes It. In today's video, we're going to be going into a deep dive on the brand Kiss and the nails that they make. This week's video is going to be about the glue-on nails that Kiss makes. They also make press-on nails. That's called their Impress line. I've made a previous deep dive video going into those nails. I'll link that one down below if you missed it. But today we're going to be focusing on their glue-on nails. I also want to say before we start that I am not getting paid to make this video at all. This video is not sponsored by KISS. I'm not an affiliate of KISS. If I can find any discount codes or friend and family type discount things, I'm going to link them in the description down below like I always do, but I want you guys to know that this is my unbiased opinion. I bought all the nails you're going to see in this video with my own money. So now we're going to totally shift gears and we're going to go over to the glue on nail side of things. So I'm going to make sure to put up the chart. You can screenshot this if you want, but this is basically outlining all of your options options that you have with KISS nails. So on the glue on side, your glue on nails will come in a box just like the Impress ones did. This is what's inside the box when you slide it out and that you can see that's all your nails. Your extra nails are sitting in the back right here. Each kit is going to come with a little mini nail file and a cuticle wooden pusher that's in a little plastic like this. And then of course you have the glue right here and that is the big difference between the impressed nails and the glue on nails. So most of the time the glue on nails, they're not going to say glue on anywhere on the package. It's just if they don't say impress, you can assume that it's going to be a glue on one. The other way, like I said, to tell is that the box for the glue on ones is much wider because it has to be able to fit that glue in there. So the glue on nails will always come with a glue, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about buying a separate product if you don't want to. If you do want to use one of their special other glues, Kiss does make a couple other like extra glues you can buy on the side. If you prefer one of those, then obviously you'll have to buy it separate. But if you just want the default glue that comes with it, it comes with it. It's included in the price. So now what you would do is you look in here and so all of these have different sizes. There's going to be a number on the tab here and so that corresponds to the size. Zero is going to be the largest and 13 is the smallest. And then you'd see which finger does this fit on. So for example, this one is a good fit for this finger here. So then I'm going to use the glue, put it on, I usually put it on both in the inside of here and here. And then I go like this, hold it on, count to 10. They say three on the back of the box, but I think 10 works better. And then you're good. And then you can just twist off the little tab on the front. When I do the glue on nails, the longest it's ever lasted me is 20 days of looking really good, which was absolutely amazing. I don't know why it lasted me that long that time. I think because I was really careful with doing dishes, wearing gloves for that, same with cleaning and just not doing anything like yard work or I don't know, furniture building or furniture moving or anything crazy that put a strain on my nails during that time, but I have gotten them to last up to 20 days. I would say safely, I can say about a week, maybe 10 days that I get out of this of the glue on nails. So I will say that that is one advantage of the glue ons over the stick ons is that they do last a little bit longer, but they are a little bit more tricky to apply and they definitely take longer to apply. When I do a glue on nail, once it's really set, once that glue has really dried hard, I can't pull it off even if I want to. You can use nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol to sort of dissolve that glue and get it off that way, but there's no chance that I could just pick it off the way I can with the Impress type nails. So the Kiss glue on nails come in more size options than the Impress nails do. So let's start with something that the glue on ones have that the Impress ones don't have at all as far as I know, and that is a pedicure option. So Kiss glue on nails actually have a pedicure option so they have the kiss everlasting the salon acrylic and the gel the gel ones will come in different colors as well i just have the plain white ones here i've tried all of these now i will say i had a little bit more trouble keeping the toenails on than the nails i think this is just because when you put you know your foot in a sock or you're doing some high impact kind of exercise your foot and your toenails are kind of really being slammed around. And so if you didn't do a perfectly good job gluing it on and letting that glue set, these will be prone to falling off. You also like with everything, you wanna really make sure to match the nail size to your actual toenail size. But that being said, I have definitely been able to keep these on for over a week before, and it is a really quick way to do a pedicure at home. Now I'll show you these up close really quick. So these are the white ones. These are the gel fantasy nails. These are the French Everlasting nails. 
and these are the Salon Acrylic Pedicure Nails, which look really similar to the Everlasting Nails. The main difference I would say is that the Salon Acrylic ones are a little bit thicker than the Everlasting ones. It's kind of hard to see that right here, but these are the Salon Acrylic ones and these are the Everlasting ones. So the Salon Acrylic ones are gonna be less um, bendy than the Everlasting ones, which are going to be more flexible. We're gonna look at this again when we come to the fingernails because there's the same comparison we can make there and I think it's gonna be a little bit easier to see there. But basically you have both as options and really just with the toenails, I would say make sure you glue them really well it's really hard to get the right amount of glue sometimes because especially like your baby toenails are just so small, but you really do want to do a good job. And I would say try to not wear shoes for as many hours after as you possibly can with these to avoid the risk of them falling off and not letting them set perfectly right. I would say I probably care less about the toenails personally than fingernails because with fingernails, the problem is I don't want that drying time when I paint my nails, but with toenails, it doesn't really matter to me about drying time because I'm not using my feet the way I use my hands. And so I can be a little bit more patient with that drying time. So I feel like it's a little bit less important to me to have a glue on toenail than a glue on nail, but I did want to try it and mention it to be as thorough as possible in this video. And also if you do really want that matching look of your matching French nails and your matching French toenails, this is a really easy way to get that look at home for like less than $10, honestly. Especially since each set, each box has more than 10 nails in it. For example, the toenails here, they typically have 24. So you can basically get two uses out of each set of toenails. Now, just like the Stick on nails, we also have for the glue on ones, a kid's size nail, so those are gonna be mini ones. I will say I see less of the glue on kids ones than I do of the stick on kids ones, especially in like pharmacies or drugstores, I've never seen a glue on kids one. I think that's just because, you know, drying time and like glue and all that stuff can be a lot more of a big mess with kids. So I feel like it's more popular to have a stick on nail for kids. Now, as for the adult regular sizes of the Kiss glue on nails, you have a really big selection here. So we have P Petite, which are going to be a little bit narrower in width than the regular nails. Then you have Real Short, so that's a little bit shorter than short, but the regular width, not as narrow as Petite. So we have the Real Short, and then we have the S for Short, then we have the M for Medium, and then we also have the L for Long. And then actually I looked on their website and they even have an extra long and an double extra long now in like one or two styles. So an even longer than extra long length now exists as well. So there's really something for everybody here. You have the full spectrum from a really short, like basically the exact same length as your natural nail to very, very long nails. I'm gonna lay them out on a ruler here so that hopefully we can kind of take a comparison of the sizes and the actual measurements of these nails so that you can get an idea of actually how big or how long these different lengths are. Because again, like I said before, me just trying them on for you doesn't necessarily help because my finger size and my nail bed size might be totally different than yours. Go ahead and take a nail out of each of these boxes so that we can compare the lengths. I'm gonna take the uh, largest possible size so it's not fair to compare it like the pinky size nail from this length to the thumbnail length on this one and the way you know it's the largest is gonna be if there's a zero on here can you see that there's a zero on the tab right here in certain lights I think it's harder or easier to see so with the two shorter sizes the petite and the real short it's gonna be on that tab and then with the other sizes, it's going to be on the back of the nail actually so you can see there's a little zero right up under the front tip of the nail. The same will be true on these two. So that's how you know that it's the widest possible one that comes in that box. So the two short ones, so the petite and the real short, they come with these tabs to help you apply them, like you see right here, as opposed to the other lengths where it's just the actual nail itself. There's no tab for you to rip off, which makes sense because with the longer nails, there's a little bit more to hold on to while you're applying them. So that would be my guess as to why they did that. One of the first things that stands out to me here when I look at all five sizes next to each other is gonna be that the size petite, so this is the size P nail, is a lot narrower than all the other ones. So this is the zero, so it is the largest possible one in the kit that it came in. 
However, it is much more narrow than all the other ones. Like if I look at the width of these, these ones are all gonna be about the same. So this would be my recommendation for somebody who has a little bit narrower nail beds or maybe smaller or skinnier fingers in general. For the other four sizes, they just vary in the length of the nail themselves. So in this more than in the actual width. The real short measures in at, let's see, under three quarters of an inch, but more than five eighths. This one, the short nail measures three quarters of an inch exactly. The medium nail is about seven eighths of an inch long. And the long nail is exactly a little bit over an inch long. Of course, within every individual kit, the nails are going to vary in length. So this is the length of the widest, so the largest possible nail in each kit. But of course, the smaller sizes are going to be also shorter. So for example, you can see right here really well that the larger, wider nails also are longer compared to like this one over here, which you'd probably use on a pinky finger but I think it can be still helpful to compare the longest possible nail in each one, just to give you a relative idea of just how much longer the long or the medium nails are than the short and the real short. I have to say the real short and the short are pretty close together in length, at least of these two color styles. Now, if you're still with me at this point in the video, please like this video and hit subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. It really helps my YouTube channel out because by doing these things, you're basically telling YouTube, yes, YouTube should recommend this video to other possible viewers who might be interested in this content. So as far as shapes go for the glue on nails, we're gonna have the same choices that we had for the stick on nails. So we're gonna have the squoval, the oval, the square, the almond and the coffin, as well as an extra large squoval, which is gonna be that wider squoval that I talked about earlier as an option as well. I'll show you a few sort of special case or shape scenarios that maybe we didn't see in the stick on nails. So for example, this right here is a squared nail and this is a squoval nail for a French manicure and the stick on one. So you can see just how squared off the edges are that front tip in the one that's a true square versus the one that's more of that squoval. And if it was the oval, again, those corners would be shaved right here to make it truly um, circular and not angular at all. This right here is going to be a medium length coffin nail versus a short length coffin nail. So we didn't really see any of the short ones in coffin. I think before, I think all the coffin ones we had in the stick-ons were medium length. So the short coffin is going to be a great example for you guys of when it doesn't really work perfectly for my nail shape because when I put this on and I match the size to the base sort of of my cuticle here, the problem is you can kind of see on the side how there's now exposed nail because it tapers in. That taper shape happens too early for my nail because my nail is pretty like straight up and down the sides and doesn't taper so much naturally. So for example, for me, a short coffin length nail doesn't really work at all because this taper occurs too soon to match up well with my actual nail bed shape. So that's just an example of why something maybe wouldn't work for you. Now we can take our comparison one step further and add in a long length nail in the coffin. So that's gonna be the one on the end here. So you can see short, medium, long, each one gets longer, but they all maintain that coffin shape. So they all have that more sort of flat front and tapered look going in on the sides in the front there. Now, some of the glue on nails that are in the really long length actually also come with these sticky tabs. So you have the choice of making it a stick on or a glue on. So I guess there is a little bit of overlap there. I didn't realize that until I just opened this package and this kind of fell out at me but I'm just noting that here for the sake of this video. And the directions of the back of that package do actually say that you can do either a glue on or a stick on with these ones. So I guess there sort of is an option for a long length stick on nail with Kiss, but it's not advertised that way. And I don't know how you would know, besides I guess reading the back of every package, which ones exactly of the long length nails would come with that stick on tab as well. So there are a lot of glue on nail collections that they have. Some of these you'll see are actually the same as what they offer in the impress. So there's a direct kind of 
counterpart in the stick on nails to the glue on ones, which makes sense for people who would prefer one way of applying them over the other. But then for some of the special designs, you'll find them only in the impress or only in the glue on. So you don't have that counterpart there. So for example, there's glazed donut collection in the impress and also in the glue on. There's also lots of options for French manicures in both application methods for nails. So you have the modern French and bare French under the impress. And then for the glue on, you'll have the everlasting French as well as the salon acrylic French you can get. So as far as the glue on ones go, I'll just read you a list of all the collections that are available. And then I'll show you kind of the most common ones that you'll actually see come up a lot that are sort of their more long lasting lines. So magnetic glazed donut, voguish fantasy, velour fantasy, gel fantasy, salon acrylic, Classy Premium, Gel Fantasy, Bare But Better, and Everlasting French. That basically encompasses all the collections that fall under the glue on nails. So one of the most common ones you'll see are the Gel Fantasy nails. So these ones are where the sort of solid colored nails fall for the glue on type nails. As you can see, this is sort of a pinkish, light pink solid. And this is sort of a metallic or, or shimmery white solid. There's also going to occasionally be something like this, which is a gel special edition one. This is obviously a holiday one, but the gel ones are supposed to simulate the look of obviously gel nail polish, which we all kind of know what that looks like. It will have that more glossy finished look to it. And generally those designs are gonna be a little bit more simple when you compare them to another really popular line of theirs, and that is the Vogueish collection. The Vogueish ones are gonna be where some of your more crazy, funky type designs come in, as well as some of the special edition Christmas ones, but these ones will have a lot of glitter and sort of rhinestones and fancy stuff attached. They're, you know, Vogueish. There's some trendier stuff, some crazier designs. I don't even have some of the most crazy or out there designs just because I know it's something that I wouldn't really wear, but there's a huge selection under that Vogueish line and they're constantly coming out with new ones under that. Again, pretty much all the Vogueish ones are going to have a mixed pack of the actual designs that are in there. And then what it's going to be like on the inside of one of those Vogueish packs is you're going to get some of those special designs and then you're going to have mostly the solid color that comes with it. So you'll have some accent ones, but you'll have mostly of the solid color or sort of the least fancy design in there. And then you can sort of mix and match and do your nails however you want. So yeah, like with this Zodiac sort of glitter design, you're gonna have mostly solid black nails. And then you're gonna have some of these accent ones that are sort of a constellation as well as the ones that are the gold glitter. This set comes with 28, so you can do at least two sets out of them, which is nice. It gives you a little bit of flexibility if you accidentally mess up with one, which is a lot more likely to happen with the glue on ones than the stick on ones, I will say, because the glue can be more of a mess, or it definitely is more of a mess, than the stick on nails. So the chance that you accidentally ruin a nail in the process of gluing it on is kind of higher than ruining one of the stick on nails as you're putting it on. So it's nice to have some extra ones in here. There's only a few options in this next collection I'm gonna talk about, but it's called the Bare But Better collection. Basically, it means it's going to be something very similar to a nude or very similar to your natural skin tone already. So as you can see, these are just a very light pink and they're kind of translucent as well. So all of the options in that collection are going to be things that look like your nail, but nicer, more refined, bare but better is a very accurate name in this case. The next collection I'm going to show you one of is going to be also a little bit smaller of a collection. That is going to be the Classy Premium Nails. So these are going to be things that kind of all remind me of a wedding, white, silver, rhinestones, lots of more intricate designs. It's a very classy collection and very not colorful. It's very white, silver, nude, that color scheme but these could be very pretty for a special occasion, such as a wedding without detracting from your dress or you know being too much. I think these are really nice for a refined look, but a little bit even fancier than just a regular French manicure. The next few I'm gonna show you are a little bit more one-off special things that there isn't really a huge collection for. These are the Velour Fantasy. So these are very sparkly and these ones almost look like velvet up close. Then we also have the Glam Fantasy Nail and the Gel Fantasy Nail. So these are both sort of extra special 
extra sparkly ones right here. The other thing I wanna to mention too is that in the glue on nails, you do have the option, and sometimes it will say this, of sculpted versus non-sculpted nails. So I'm gonna to try to show you what the difference is right here. So you can see both of these nails are longer lengths, and you can see this one sort of curves like this, and this one is flat like this. Do you see how there's a curve in one of them and not in the other? So that is the difference between sculpted and non-sculpted. So the sculpted nail will go like this and will curve downward when you're wearing it. And the non-sculpted nail, sort of the default, is going to be like this. See how that goes out straight? And that's a big difference in the look from the sculpted one, which will kind of go downwards. I hope that makes sense. But some of them you'll see will say sculpted for the medium and long lengths. Some of them will not, and that will just assume that they're kind of straight out, but it is a difference and an option that I did want to mention. Because like I said, I wanna make this video as in-depth and as thorough as possible. Now I wanna talk about the ones that are labeled Salon Acrylic. So Salon Acrylic, there's the natural option, and then there's also the French manicure, French version. So these ones are basically going to be to try to simulate what acrylic nails are like. The biggest difference I can find between these and sort of all the other styles or all the other kind of collections is that these ones are gonna be thicker, like thicker in the thickness of the nail and kind of stronger than the other ones, which are more flexible, which can be good and bad. In a way, I like it better because I feel like these being more rigid, like, I can actually like do things with those nails and they're not as prone to like breaking or cracking in any way. On the other hand, if these don't perfectly fit your nails, you're gonna have a problem because they're not flexible so you can't sort of bend them to fit your nails better. So you want the glue to have contact with as much of your natural nail as possible so it stays on as well as possible. If these do not perfectly match the curve, of your fingers, then it's gonna be a lot harder to get these ones to stick on your fingers than it is the more flexible styles. And that is going to be the biggest difference that I notice between the French Everlasting and the Salon French acrylic ones. So both of these collections, you can get in a short and a medium type length. You have all those options there. And the look that you get from them is very similar, but the biggest difference between them is gonna be what I show you right here. And hopefully you can see this. But do you see how this one is much thicker in the front than this one? And that's because this one is gonna be the Everlasting French, and that's gonna be more similar to how their other nails are manufactured, like the thickness of them, versus the Salon Acrylic one is a little bit uh, thicker in the front. It's almost like two of these were glued on top of each other. And as a result of that, I can't really flex this one at all. And the Everlasting French one, look, I can bend it like this a little bit. And that means that it's gonna have an easier time applying to my nail because it can fit the natural curvature of my nail easier. So I would say if the Salon Acrylic ones don't match your nail bed perfectly, you're gonna have a harder time keeping them on because you want the glue to have as much contact with your nail bed as possible. That will ensure that it will stay on as long as possible. I hope that made sense, but I do a lot of French manicures. And so the Salon and Everlasting French ones, you can see from all this, are going to be some of the ones that I have tried the most. And I think it's important to kind of differentiate here the things that I saw because I couldn't really find this information anywhere else online. Yes, these are all French nails right here. The last thing I wanna talk about in this video is the different glues. So Kiss has a bunch of different glues. So two of them come in the packaging. So, so you'll sometimes have the one with the green right here and sometimes with the black. So this is called their pink glue. And then this is their pink glue with aloe added. That's why it has the green. And then you can also buy separately the brush on glue, the power flex precision glue, and as well as the power flex max speed glue. So that one's supposed to dry a little bit faster. So I have tried all three of these obviously now a couple times. And I did really like the precision one. It has a very precise tip on it like this, which makes it very easy to apply. But you do have to be careful about how you store it and how quickly you recap it because it did dry out really quickly for me personally. 
I like the brush on glue, but I didn't find I could get enough of it out to bond to my nail, if that makes sense. And then the Max Speed Power Flex glue. I like that one as well. It looks like this in the front. I would say I liked all three of these other glues actually better than the pink glue that comes in the packaging as sort of the default glue, I will say. I think my favorite way to sort of use them together would be to use the, the brush on glue, brush it onto my nail, kind of like you're doing nail polish. That way I can make sure to get all the corners of my nail and then use either one of these two glues and put a dot of it on the back of my nail and then wait a second and then apply it to my nail. I personally didn't notice a huge difference in the drying time, honestly, between the two of these. I feel like the drying time is more affected by things like the humidity where you are or if the air is very dry, it will dry faster. I felt like that made a bigger difference to me than actually like the actual glue itself, but you know, you do want to keep in mind with something that is supposed to be extra fast drying, you might have to work a little bit faster than normal, which if you're a beginner, you might actually not enjoy because, you know, it gives you less time to sort of position the nail and make sure you have all areas of the nail coated in the back. But anyways, I think for a couple extra dollars, I personally think these glues are worth it. I think they personally for me work a lot better than that pink default glue that sort of comes in the box. But I think again, this is where skin chemistry and nail chemistry and individual people might have a different experience. So I would encourage you to experiment around. These are each only a couple extra dollars so, and they will last you longer than just one time of doing your nails. So they're not really a very expensive investment to make. I just wanted to make sure you were aware that they were out there in case these glues that come in the package don't work for you. You know that you do also have other options to sort of experiment with. Anyways, like I said, I think my favorite combination would probably be to use the brush on glue, make sure I get all the corners of my nails, and then use maybe the precision glue to get the back of the nail itself, and then glue them together. I like to put glue both on my nail and onto the nail that I'm gluing on itself because I find it um, holds better that way. You really wanna have the maximum amount of contact between your nail and that fake nail you're gluing on for longevity. When you get air bubbles, water can get in there when you're washing your hands and that tends to all decrease how long your nails will stay on for. Plus sometimes you can see the air bubbles underneath and that doesn't really look so cute. So I'm gonna put my chart up on the screen again to just show you everything all laid out now that we've gone through all of these different styles. I would say as sort of the highlights, if you want something that's going to be the maximum easiest to put on, but you don't really care about how long it lasts, you pick the Impress. If you are really going for the most long lasting possible effect and you're willing to put in a little bit of more work, the glue on ones are gonna be great for you because you will get a little bit of extra wear out of them without having to put in that much more time than doing the Impress ones. For kids, I would definitely say the Impress ones are the way to go. If you're looking for a pedicure look, you're gonna have to go with the glue on because that's a highlight that only comes with the glue on ones. For the most diversity in size lengths, you're gonna have to go with the glue on ones as well, especially if you're going for that sculpted or that longer length look. Stuff that's offered in both of them is going to be, for example, the glazed donut collection, as well as a lot of the holiday designs, or if it's not the exact same holiday design in both, there's going to be similar options in both. Like as you saw in the ones that I showed you guys, I had Christmas ones that were impress and Christmas ones that were glue on and both were really cute kind of designs. So there's gonna be holiday options in both types of collections. So it really is up to you at the end of the day, what kind of nails you want and what the experience is that you want when you're wearing these. The last thing I'll say is that I actually had both my sisters try on the impress stick on nails. One of them did great with them. She said it lasted her like almost a week, just like me. The other one said she could barely have them stick on for a day. So I do think there is a little bit more um, at play than first meets the eye. Like your skin chemistry, your nail chemistry, your body's chemistry can make a difference here in how long these things are going to last you. And I think if you're one of those people who like the impress, the stick on really doesn't work for you, you might have to go towards the glue because you do get a much more firm hold onto your nails by gluing than just by sticking on. But I did want to mention this in case you were somebody who did try the Impress and it didn't work for you at all. 
it is possible that these might just not be an option for you just based on your body's chemistry. All right, you guys let me know in the comments down below. Have you tried Kiss Nails? What are your highlights? What are your favorite products? If not, which ones would you be the most willing to try based on this video? And always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Bye, YouTube.